Hello friends! Welcome to video three of our toaster pastry project! Alright, so this is the third of three videos. First video we learned how to make the back panel. Second video we learned how to make the front panel. And for this video, I'm so excited about this, we get to do the details. So we're going to be putting some eyes and the sprinkles, and then we're going to do the closing and the stuffing of the character itself. So today you're going to need your front and back panels, an L seven millimeter crochet hook, some 10 millimeter safety eyes. I get mine from Amazon. Uh, you will also need some variegated yarn or just whatever colors you want to use in single skeins. I like to use the skeins with multiple colors because you can separate out into chunks the colors that you want to use. So I think I'm going to do a blueberry toaster pastry today. So for that, I'm going to want to use like cooler colors, some, you know, blues, some greens, some purples, maybe a little bit of pink. The bright pink would be really pretty. Um, so let's get into it. First thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to cut our sections of yarn. So what we're going to do is we're going to find the end of one of these skeins. I think we'll start with the blue mixed together and we are going to find the end wherever it may be. All right, here we go. And what we're going to do is we're just going to cut sections of yarn that will be long enough for us to tie behind the back of the toaster pastry front. So I've got two of those light blues. I'm going to do some of these medium blues. will probably go that length. So there's two of those. And then here's, we'll get two more from this one. Because this is actually like I don't know if you guys can see it, but it almost looks like a tie-dyed blue. It's kind of interesting. All right, and then we'll get some of this dark blue. I think that's all we'll need from our main blue color. And then I think what we'll do is we'll grab some of this hot pink off of this one. So we're just gonna grab one of the big pieces here and then split that in half. So we basically want like two of each color, unless you're doing like, if you want to spe like specifically look at one type of color, then you're going to want to cut as many in that color as you want. So next we're going to grab some of this purple. I like this light purple. It's pretty. So we grab that. This one's long. All right. We'll probably be able to get like three out of this one two, three. All right. So I think did I grab the, I did grab hot pink. I'm going to toss those in there and take a look and see what we got. And that looks pretty good. Maybe do we want to do, let's put a little bit of a light pink in there. We got it. We'll use it. All right. So there are our sprinkle colors. And now what we're going to do is for, I forgot to do this in the video number two, we are going to um, cut our white yarn and we're going to pull out the working yarn and put it to the side and then just pull on that loop. So we have a tail. So now we have two tails. Here we go on the front, two tails on the back, but we did not cut the working yarn of the brown because we are still going to be using that when we close. All right, so next thing next is we are going to choose some eyes. So since I'm doing a blueberry toaster pastry, I think I'm gonna use blue eyes. I have two options. I have this pale blue right here, which is really pretty. I get baby blue and the glitter. I'm gonna show you, there's the glitter for it. And the glitter shows up through the clear plastic there. So there's that option, which is really cute. And then we also have this dark blue, 
which is backwards. Here's the glitter for it. It's really pretty. And it matches really well as well. But I think I'm going to go with the light blue this time. Just, just to liven things up a bit. So we need two of those along with their backings. So there's one. There's that. We need the little glitter piece for it. Put that on there. And then we need two backs. So there's one. And there's two. So to finish the front here, we've got our two eyes, the backings, and then our sprinkle colors that we're going to be using. So we're going to put the sprinkle colors to the side and we are going to work on the eyes. So for this pattern, I went in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, between eight and nine, stitch eight and nine of, let's see here, one, two, three, four, between the fourth and fifth row. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at my work, put these over here for a second. Hopefully they don't roll away. All right, we're going to pull this forward and take a look. So we're going to count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, between eight and nine, and then one, two, three, four, five. So we're going to go here. So our first eye is going to go right around here. Cute. And what we do is we push the backing of our eye through the work. And then we take the backing and place it around there and then push it in as far as it'll go. Some people like to take a lighter and burn this or melt it and then press it down so it lays a little flatter. Um, since this is going to be stuffed, I don't think it really needs that. It can just hang out. It has three little ridges that it's protected behind, so I'm not worried about a child grabbing it and pulling the eyeball off. It's safely in there. Then we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six rows over, and we are going to place our other eye right around the same area. These come down just a little, like so. All right, and we're gonna do, does that look even? I think it needs to come down just a bit. Let's see, there it is. All right, and then we are going to take the backing again, press it as hard as you can, make it go as far down the main part as possible. This one I don't think is gonna go as far as the first one did, but that's okay. All right, so now we've got our eyes affixed to our toaster buddy, and now we get to do the sprinkle part. All right, so we've got our guy. We're going to take these pieces of yarn, and you can use a yarn needle or you can use your crochet hook, and what I do is I go from the back of my work, stick the crochet hook through the work, and kind of grab hold of the yarn and pull it through. So you got one tail here and one tail here. And then you figure out which direction you want your sprinkle to be facing. You could have it this way, you know, any which way. And you put your hook through the area that it's going to be going into and pull it through. Come to the other side. And there's your sprinkle. And there are your tails. So what you can do, you can do this all at once, or you can do it as you make the sprinkle itself. You're going to take your tails and you're just going to make a knot like you would if you were tying your shoes. So one knot, just like that. And now your sprinkle is affixed to your, to your, the front of your toaster pastry. And you grab your next color and you find where you want to put it. And you loop it through and loop it through and there's sprinkle number two so what I'm gonna do for just to make this easy is I'm gonna place all of my sprinkles and then tie them so we find the next spot for the next one we go here pick a color pull it through and then pull it through again and there's another sprinkle so use light blue purple and hot pink so let's do a dark blue and we're going to go up here. 
like so. And there's our dark blue sprinkle. Sometimes this yarn, it, it sheds a little bit. So if you see me picking little pieces off, it's just leftover yarn bits from when I cut it. All right, we got that. Pull it through. And we're going to go, which way is this one? It's an up and down, and this one's a side. So we're going to go, let's go this way. Oh, come on. Here we go. We'll put one here and maybe another one up in here. Do one over here. And you can place your sprinkles anywhere you want to. It does not matter. You can put a lot of sprinkles or you could put just a couple sprinkles. That's one of the beauties of this, this project is you can make it however you want to. It is yours. And yeah, it's nice when something, you make yourself something. Every once in a while, it's a good thing to do. Sometimes I forget to do that. I get so busy making things for everybody else that loves them. But when there's a pattern that I fall in love with and I'm like, oh my goodness, I just need to make this for me. That usually takes a back seat. But sometimes it just, you need to make something for yourself that you're going to love. All right. So there's that one. All these little sprinkles are so cute. What color should we do over here? Maybe do a purple. Let's do a purple over here. And then, hmm, maybe do a light pink up here since we only have one here. Is that light pink? That is light pink. Hmm. I guess we need a purple one up there. There's no purple up top. Should we put one between the eyes? Maybe. We'll see. We'll see how this one looks above. And we'll see if we need one. Yeah, we could do like a light blue one right in here. Or do you think that might be too close to the other light blue? Maybe a medium blue. Yeah. Let's do a medium blue. Loop, pull, pull it through, right, We've got more blue sprinkles, do I want to use them, put a light blue up here, dark blue down here, medium blue there, I think that might be good, because you don't want it to be super busy, unless that's what you're going for. But mine, I try to, oh, I just pulled the yarn through the wrong side. All the way through the tip. All right. Come on now. There we go. Pulled through. Gorgeous. All right. And then we do our medium blue right here. And then a dark blue at the bottom. There we go. Go. Make sure, okay, those don't match. <laughs> Make sure you have a good variety of colors around. All right, so there it is. Now, the back of it looks a mess, but it's okay because we are gonna, we're gonna tidy it up after we make all of our knots. So for each of these, we're just going to do a double knot on the back like so and then after that we're gonna trim them up you don't want to trim them too short because you don't want the knots to come undone but you don't want to leave them really really long because if you do that then you'll have tails flying out everywhere all righty just about knotting all these things. All right, coming towards the end of the knots. 
so many sprinkles. <laughs> it's going to look so cute. All right. Just a couple more. We'll do our trims. And we get to join the two pieces. And then finish. All right. Put my scissors down here. So I'm going to leave like half an inch or so of yarn at the end of these knots. That one was a little short. It'll be okay. I don't want them to come undone. Right? Beautiful. All right. There. Sure, we're getting all of the tails cut. All right, so now all of our tails are cut. Here's our mess of leftovers. <laughs> Put these over here. And then we're going to flip this guy over. So here is our blueberry toaster pastry. And if you notice that your, your sprinkles are kind of hidden in there, what you can do is take just a little darning hook or yarn hook and just pull them out a little bit and just give it a little wiggle so it's not so smushed into the white yarn where it's difficult to see the color just wiggle wiggle down in there and just wiggle them out because sometimes when you're knotting they get a little a little smushed in and you want to be able to see your pretty colors. And so we just give them a little bit of help. Everybody needs a little help sometimes. All right. The pink one's all right. Oh, there's a blue one hidden right here. Sneaky, sneaky. All right. So there we go. All of our, all of our sprinkles showing up really nicely. And now the fun part. All right, so this is where we are gonna be joining our front and back panels to make the edge of the toaster pastry. So we're gonna take our seven millimeter L crochet hook and we are going to go back to the loop that we were in when we made our, oh, let me move some stuff real quick. So we're not bumping into everything. All right, turn the work. All right, so we are in our last single crochet from the first panel. We're gonna chain up one. And what we are gonna do is we are going to find the end of this row and we are gonna put our hook through there and then we are also going to find the end of the last brown row and we are going to go through there as well. So now we've got both panels on our hook, There's one and two, and we are going to yarn over with our yarn, our working yarn, and we are going to pull through both pieces. Okay. We're going to yarn over again and make our first single crochet. And then we are going to go into the end of each of these rows and do a single crochet. So we're going to find our next row, go through both the white and the brown, pull up a loop, yarn over and single crochet. We're going to do that all the way across, all the way across. Okay. Just like this. Just make sure each time that you're really <laughs> oh the yarn's getting knotted up in the inside come on sometimes the yarn has a hard time there we go did I get it come on now open it up a bit. There it is. Got the knot. Okay. Back to it. So we are going to go through each of these 
Make sure with each, sti each stitch you are going through both the front and back panel because this is what is joining your work together. This is creating your seam. And it's going to keep the stuffing in. Keep the stuffing in there. All right, so we're getting to this corner here. And you see we've got two tails, the two tails from our, when we created the panels. And what we're going to do is we are going to put three single crochets in the corner. So I already did one here. And then we're going to do two and then three. And this turns our work as we're making the three single crochets in the corner. It turns our work. So now we can work down, down the row. We're going to go into each of these loops, joining the two panels together, just like this. This is going to hold our two pieces together, and it's going to look like the crust of our delicious toaster pastry. all the single crochets, just one into each space, all the way down. And then remember, once we get to the corner, we're going to do three single crochets into said corner. So we are getting there right now. So here's our corner and we're going to do one, two, and three. So there's our three single crochets into the corner. We are halfway done with the joining. It's going to be awesome. All right. So again, into the end of each row across and then just crochet it in and once we get onto the next row down here we are going to only crochet about three quarters of the way because we need to stuff we need to stuff our buddy a little stretch All right, and we're almost at the corner. We do three single crochets in the corner. So you got one, two, three. All right, and then what we're going to do is we're going to cro crochet to about right here all these little sprinkle bits because at that point we're going to pull our loop up and make it long so it doesn't pull out any stitches while we are stuffing our toaster buddy and make sure you're going into the front and back panel guys because you don't want any holes where your stuffing can come out Right, just about there. This has been a long, wonderful journey with you. I look forward to many more. I hope you all have been enjoying this journey. All right, so we're right there. So we pull up our loop because if this accidentally gets pulled, we don't want to pull out any stitches. So this just gives us a little bit of a safety net. All right, next thing next stuffing. All right. Let me grab my stuffing from over here. I use the original polyfill. I don't know if you could see that. 
it's just polyfill, which you can get at your local craft store or Walmart has it also. You can get it off Amazon. Lots of places have it. All right. So we've left ourselves with a little pocket so we can stick the stuffing in. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our stuffing and we're just going to start putting it in to our toaster buddy. And we kind of want to make sure that it's evenly distributed. Like we don't want any lumpy, bumpy parts. We want it to be kind of just equally distributed across. So we've got the top part of him stuffed. And then we're going to take another little bunch of fluff and put it in there as well. So I kind of like getting the areas that are difficult to reach first and then working closer towards the opening. Like so. All right. And then if you can just kind of even it out, if you got any lumpy areas, just kind of pull them to where they'll be more even and equally distributed. So there's, there's our stuffed pastry. And now we get to close up and finish. All right. So we're going to pick our hook back up go into that loop that we made and pull it tight down. And we are going to finish up our last few stitches of our toaster buddy. So we got one here, here's another. And now for the end here, we already have one, one stitch up here. So we're gonna do two additional ones. Did I get both sides? Right. So there's that. Come in here. And then two more stitches. One and two. And then we're going to find our first single crochet. We're going to go into the top of it. And we are going to pull up a loop and slip stitch closed. And we're going to pull up another, another long length of yarn and we are going to cut, oh, cut it off, pull the working yarn out and we are left with one single solitary tail, which is wonderful. So what we're going to do with that is we're going to grab our yarn needle and we're going to place the yarn into the yarn needle loop. And we are going to work our yarn into the already crocheted loops to secure it. So we just weave it in, pull it through. And what I like to do with my leftover after I've put it, you know, after I've woven a small amount of it in, I like to take my yarn that and just kind of shove it into the work that I've done and then pull it out further over. So it's just a little extra in there. And then we snip it closed. All right. And there you have it, guys. There's your own friendly little toaster pastry. If you want to add more details, you can add a little mouth. You could add little rosy cheeks to it with a little bit of blush. There are so many different things that you could do with this pattern that would just be adorable. And I look forward to seeing your creations with this pattern. Um, you can find my Instagram and my Facebook in the description below. You can also leave a comment. I would love to hear and see what you've done with this pattern. Um, it's been wonderful teaching y'all how to make this cute little toaster buddy. And I look forward to the next time I get to teach you guys something. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see y'all next time.